This video is an introduction to tapping a drilled hole. The first thing to do when one needs to thread a hole is to consult the drill size chart. These charts will list the different common tap sizes along with their corresponding pilot hole sizes. It is extremely important that you drill the correct size hole before attempting to tap your piece. Otherwise, the tap will be unable to cut threads properly. Next, you have a choice between a number of different types of taps to thread your hole with. Starter taps, plug taps, bottoming taps, spiral taps, and pipe taps. The first three types differ in the amount of lead they have. A tap's lead is the amount of length the tap has from the tip of the tap to where the tap makes complete threads. A starter tap has the most lead, making it the easiest to cut threads with because the tap starts cutting threads at a more gradual rate. Starter taps are used in most situations where the material may be hard or when the tap's diameter is very small. Small diameter taps are more prone to breaking. A plug tap has less lead than a starter tap. A plug tap is more commonly used because it still has a taper, making it easy to start tapping, but can cut threads deeper into a hole than a starter tap. The third type of tap is a bottoming tap. A bottoming tap is called so because it has little to no taper. This means it can cut threads to the bottom of a blind hole. Usually, you would tap with a starter tap first to cut the majority of the threads. Then, finish with a bottoming tap to cut the threads to the bottom of the hole. You may notice the difference in color of the bottom tap shown. This is because the top tap has been coated. Taps can come in many different types of coatings that will help keep the tap sharp and allow them to cut harder materials. The next tap here is called the spiral tap. The characteristic this tap doesn't share with others is that it has helical flutes. The reasoning for the shape of these flutes is that it can remove chips faster than the other taps, making them useful in manufacturing where time can be an issue. The final tap shown is a pipe tap. A pipe tap has tapered threads so that when one makes a connection between two pipe thread pieces, the threads bind and make a friction seal. This is very useful when one doesn't want to lose pressure or fluid between connections. To actually tap your hole, you have a few options. The first and simplest way is using a tap block. When you have properly drilled your pilot hole, put your tap in a tap handle and grab a tap block. Place your piece in a vise so that there is room for the tap to come out of the other side of the hole. Set the tap block on your piece and find the smallest hole the tap can fit in. With the tap through the tap block, place the tip of your tap in your drilled hole and securely hold the tap block to your piece. Now you can begin tapping. Make sure to oil your tap before cutting threads, unless your material is plastic. For right-handed threads, which are most common, Turn the tap one and a half turns in a clockwise direction to cut threads, then one half turn in a counterclockwise direction to break the chip. This helps to reduce the chance of breaking the tap. If you do this while holding the tap lock firmly to your piece, the threads will be cut in line with the hole. Repeat this until you have tapped to the desired depth. You can also use our tapping station in the shop to tap more accurately. Use the same one and a half clockwise and one counterclockwise cutting convention as previously mentioned. Don't forget to oil before tapping. For the most accurate tapping methods, you will use either the lathe or mill. On the lathe, after you have drilled the proper pilot hole, place either a live or dead center in the tailstock. Position the tailstock so that the tap in the tap handle just fits between your part and the tip of the live center. Put the lathe into low gear so that the chuck doesn't spin while tapping. Oil the tap and place its tip in the pilot hole. Advance the tailstock spindle so that the tip of the live center is in the divot on top of the tap handle. By doing this you are making sure that the tap is parallel with the hole center. Do not apply pressure with the live center. Just advance it as you tap deeper to keep the tap in line with the spindle. Follow the same one and a half clockwise and one half counterclockwise convention mentioned earlier and always use cutting oil when working with metals. After you have drilled the proper pilot hole using a mill, place a dead center in either a collet or drill chuck. Make sure that you are at the same X and Y coordinate that you drilled your hole at to ensure accuracy. Place the tip of the tap in the hole. Lower the spindle so that the dead center is in the divot on top of the tap handle and oil the tap. 
This again keeps the tap in line with the hole. Do not apply pressure with the dead center. Just use it to keep the tap aligned with the hole. Follow the same one and a half clockwise, one half counterclockwise convention explained earlier to cut the threads. Congratulations, now you have a properly tapped hole.